5th, the day of the newly selected Wyoming caucuses, and we're on our way to do some get out the vote campaigning, which means we'll be contacting Ron Paul supporters in New Hampshire and making sure they get to the polls. We have three teams of people going out canvassing to supporters and one team going to the Concord HQ office to do phone banking. I will be going to Concord so I won't have any canvassing footage. I apologize. I'm just gonna wear my glasses all the time if that's what it is. <laughs> no, not, not that hard. Oh. <laughs> On the road stamping. The day after you. Hey, how's it going? But today, it'll be up next. Yeah. Hey Dan, what do you think about the uh, newly revealed Wyoming caucuses this morning? Well, it's just going to be another giant poll that people are going to look into for inspiration and what their voting record is. Basically, people are looking at Iowa and Wyoming to say who votes for them instead of all the other candidates saying what the issues are, what's important. They're going to look at, hey, this guy's popular. I want to be part of the popular club. Let's vote for him too. That's basically what it's going to come down to. Do you think Ron Paul is going to do well? I think Ron Paul is going to do well because uh, Wyoming is a state that is kind of has a whole motto, let me do whatever I want, just don't tax me. And so that's very in line with what Ron Paul's all about. So I think he will do very well there. And Mike Huckabee has what's no support whatever. He hasn't even been to the state yet, so I'm sure he's going to drop like a stone there. Despite being, you know, close to the whole religious Midwest thing. Back here at the Concord Ron Paul, New Hampshire headquarters. Doing some get out the vote phone banking. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, we will pass that overwhelmingly, seventy to thirty, and 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 that was to. Yeah. 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 We really appreciate it. All right. Well, do this. Take a look at his website. I'm standing just across the street from the Ron Paul headquarters office here in New Hampshire, and I'm counting the out-of-state license plates uh, across and in front of the office. And just from my view right now, I can count 12 out-of-state plates everywhere from Pennsylvania to Virginia and even Wisconsin. So uh, everyone's starting to show up. It's getting real crazy in the office, and people are out canvassing. People are in the office phone banking. I know there's some church outreach going on tomorrow. It's, it's going to be a, a busy weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need more information on the register, on the where to vote, and Republicans are on from 7 to 8 30. Okay. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Here's some luggage of some people who just showed up. We're starting to uh, overflow the capacity here in the New Hampshire Concord office. We're outside in downtown Concord and uh, there seems to be a sign-waving battle going on between Hillary supporters, Ron Paul supporters, and Obama supporters. I don't really see, oh I see some Edwards people too. It's, uh, it's quite amusing. I was here all day. She was here all day, I guess. Yeah. I got here about an hour. I got here about an hour. Oh yeah, it's horrible. It's awful. Yeah. The only 
only way that we're able to print dollars is by going off the gold standard. So that's that's our process. The value thereof. We don't coin it, we print it. And we don't print it, the Federal Reserve prints it. The Federal Reserve is an amalgamation of private banks. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, he should he should be on there and um he should so we know it's stopped. How hard will the Democrats and the Republicans now go after the front runners? A live special starting at 7 30. Updates throughout the night with a new set of five teams. We just finished watching the ABC WMUR debates and uh, everybody's getting ready to take off. <laughs> Should be taken seriously. I, as President of the United States. Our list. He wasn't on our list at all. Yeah, he had Ron Paul sign, so we're like, let's go up there. And Grand. It's awesome. And and I was so excited. He was, um, I told him that he was going to come in first or second in New Hampshire. He was like, you think you really can? And he said, if we can all get out there and vote. And and he said, well, you go back to headquarters and you tell him that I'll write him a check for a grand. And it was awesome. And he wasn't on our list at all.